Pat, I don't know if you can remember this far back. I can just barely, and it, it's long enough ago, I still had hair. I took the Fundamentals of Instruction Knowledge Test, which is a requirement every CFI applicant has to take. If you want to be a flight instructor or a ground instructor, you're probably going to have to take the Fundamentals of Instruction. And back when I did it, and I suspect when you did it, we could study ourselves, and when we felt confident, make that appointment and go take the written. And those days are over. That's not the way it works anymore, is it? Nope, nope. Back in the old days when we used to have to scribe our names, you know, with a chisel and stone, uh, we could actually walk into the testing center and, and just say, I want to take the FOIs. And they'd say, okay, give me your money. Not so anymore. Effective September the 1st. So by the time this episode airs, it will have been a few days that uh, that mm -hmm. went into effect, September 1st of, of 2024, just so that we date this. Yeah. yeah. And, and the, the big change is you need a CFI's endorsement now to go take that test. And that's, that's something worth talking about because that you do need the endorsement, but there's no hour requirement. Correct. There's no specific course requirement. There are specific topics you have to cover with that CFI. And as with all testing, Pat, if I sign you off for a test, that's on me. If if you do well, good for you. If you do poorly, oh, that failure goes on my mark. Well, yeah, that's that's true. So there's a downside to that. So you do want to make sure that that, that they're ready to go. But you know what I found as we were kind of re as as we were kind of well, well, you never do any research for these things. I'm the one that does all the research. I'm just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> no, I'll I'll go with that. Let's pretend I don't do any. <laughs> um. As, as we were doing the research, though, um, I came across uh, 61183 in the regs. I know you make fun of me, but I, I, nope. I, I came across 61183. And it actually says, 61183D is in Delta, and I'm going to read it here, uh, that you have to receive a logbook endorsement from an authorized instructor on the fundamentals of instructing listed in 61.185 of this part. And 65185 goes on to talk about the learning process, the elements of effective teaching, student evaluation and testing, course development, lesson planning, and classroom training techniques. So apparently, for all these years, since we were carving in stone, we're supposed to have had a logbook endorsement to take the FOIs. Why it's just coming to light that, that it's being required, given the fact that it's been in the regs for eons, I guess, who knows? But now... There is an exception, of course. If you're a state-licensed teacher or an existing CFI or ground instructor, so you've already either already been through the FOI and you're adding a double I or an MEI, or That's you're true. a state-licensed teacher... You don't have to take the FOI because you, you've essentially already covered that. But if if you're not if you're not a state licensed teacher and you don't hold a CFI or a ground instructor, a current one, yeah, you do need to get an endorsement. And you know, Pat, one of the things that always got me when I was writing test guides and things like that, people think the FOI is a breeze because it's fifty questions. It's a quick test. It's not yeah. that tough. The truth is, it's extraordinarily specific, and you really do have to understand the science and the art of teaching if you have any hope of getting through this test successfully. No, you're, you're absolutely right about that. And just to go back for a moment about the state licensed teacher thing, uh, it has to be at the, you have to have a, a license to teach at a seventh grade level or above. And that's actually in oh, the Oh, so Jethro level. Bodine's teacher is out. <laughs> That's, is that, that's a that boomer is, joke. Kids won't that, get that, but Jethro yeah. Bodine is somebody, baby. <laughs> yeah, I can just Google it and it'll be just fine. That is an obscure cultural reference if I ever heard one, but that's all right. The boomers will get it. <laughs> yeah, but these things matter. And I'll tell you, the, uh, the reference book that I like isn't actually called the Fundamentals of Instruction. It's called the Aviation Instructor's Handbook. Yes. You can get it from the FAA. You can buy a hard copy. They're produced by a number of companies. They tend to be like in the $15 to $20 range. Or you can get it directly from the FAA as a PDF download. And I strongly recommend you download that book or buy that book and fall in love with those 240 pages 
because that stuff's specific and you really do have to know the difference between recency and currency and repression and regression and all this other stuff. It's important. The levels of learning, just knowing the four levels of learning is huge. It really, it really is. And you know something, um, it, 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 we use it every day. We, it may be subconscious, but we use it every single day. Well, let me give you an example, Pat, because I'm a nerd. And while I don't do research, I do have a computer. <laughs> so the FAA does publish a small selection of the questions that are on any knowledge test, just so you can get a handle on what the format is like. But there's only a handful of them up there. And the question database is hundreds and hundreds of questions. So seriously, you're not going to successfully memorize this. But here's a question that's actually on the test. Which law of learning is being employed when an instructor communicates a clear set of objectives to the learner and relates each new topic to those objectives? And your options are A, primacy, B, readiness, or C, intensity. It falls right on your head, doesn't it, Pat? It's so easy. <laughs> and the answer is? Readiness. And readiness. seriously, I used to write study guides for... FAA tests and things. And in the old days, they actually published the entire database. Yep. So we could look up the answer to every question. This is important. It's never our opinion. We have to go look up the reference in an FAA advisory circular, a book, a letter. There's something someplace written down. And in this case, that comes right out of the aviation instructor's manual, which, or handbook, sorry, aviation instructor's handbook. Yeah. Um, but that's going to be true of most of these questions. The answer is going to come directly out of that book. Much like, Pat, when we studied for the private, the pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge, most of the written test questions come directly out of that book. It's a quote. Well, in the ACS, of course, and we've talked about this before, but in the ACS, if you look at each of the various tasks, there's a reference to some FAA publication or publications, plural, where mm -hmm. you'll find all the answers to the questions or to the subject matter that's in each individual task. So there really isn't any reason not to be able to go into these things prepared if you simply avail yourselves of, of the, the free information that's out there. As you say, you can buy it if you want, but it's also out there free of charge. I should point out, though, in the ACS where they put those book references, none of them are called the Betty Crocker Better Cookbook. That's They're right. called FAA dash H dash eighty eighty three dash one. Yeah. And if you Google that, you'll find out what that book is. But exactly you're right. right. Every every reference you need is published and you can go look it up. So go ahead, do the work because you shouldn't be afraid of taking the FOI, but you should definitely prepare for it because it is not an easy test, even though it is only 50 questions long. And even though up until now, the regu the uh, endorsement hasn't been required, that endorsement, looking at Advisory Circular 61-65H, which all the instructors who are listening to this should, you know, should be well aware of, um, that, that endorsement for the Fundamentals of Instruction Test actually is in there. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's Alpha 41 is what it is. If you're looking through the list of them, it's Alpha 41. And it actually says that, uh, you know, I certify that, you know, Joe Smith or Josephine Smith has received the required fundamentals of instruction training of 61-185A1. Uh, and I've determined that he or she is prepared for the fundamentals of instruction knowledge test. So that endorsement has been in there for, again, <clears throat> apparently eons, uh, right along with the other uh, required in, uh, endorsements for uh, instructor um, uh, knowledge tests. Again, why why it wasn't implemented years ago? Who knows? Well, if you took if you were lucky enough to get in under the wire and take your FOI on August thirtieth, good for you. You're rolling, and I hope you got a good score. If it's September 1st or later, you're going to have to go through the process of getting an endorsement from a CFI and, or I guess it could be an advanced ground instructor, couldn't it? It doesn't have to be a CFI, yeah. Yeah. but um, make sure you take that step because you don't want to show up without the proper credentials because they're happy to take your payment. They just won't give you the test.
you know, and for those that are watching that might be curious to know uh, what what tests you do or do or don't have to have uh, endorsements for, there's a there's a there's a document for that. And it's the FAA Airman Knowledge Testing Matrix. And this one actually is dated May 31st, 2024. And if you download it, it will look like this. So um, very fabulous. And it just well, as I'm fond of saying, Pat, it's all written down. There is nothing here that's somebody's opinion or, oh, some guy down at the FISDO told me. No, it's written down. Get your, if you're going to be a pilot, especially if you're going to be a flight instructor, get used to doing research because that's your best friend. It is. It is. Absolutely. There you go. It's well, a this is why I hang out with you because you know things like 61.183, and that way I don't have to do so much reading. And, you know, <laughs> I, just, I get tired. I'm old. <laughs> Well, I joined the club, my friend. <laughs> Pat, thank you so much. I do appreciate this. I hope folks will find some value in this information. And if you did, click the like button. Leave us a comment about your experience taking the FOI or being a CFI or preparing for the FOI. And uh, share the video on social media. And, of course, Pat, what do they absolutely <laughs> need to do to bring joy to your heart? Subscribe. Oh, uh, goes without saying. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Adios.